All right, well, welcome back here to Foxborough High School. I'm here with uh, Coach Downs and, again, Caitlin Mollica for the second night. Uh, 86-61 victory for Foxborough. Uh, Lisa, you, you knew that Canton was coming in uh, with a win. I believe they beat Attleboro. They did, yeah. Uh, you know they had a younger team, but they had some good scorers. Uh, you know, and Caitlin just went off again. It, it was great <laughs> to see. You know, first half in the second quarter, she had uh, eight points total, uh, 14 in the first half, 31 overall. Uh, you know, was that the plan to kind of get Caitlin going again against Canton, especially with the bigger girls? Um, well, we know she's going to pick up the most pressure probably than anyone in the game. Um, but tonight they didn't do a boxing one. They did. They just played a really, really tight man on her. Um, but we were able to open up the court, especially when we got our fast break going, and that opened up things for her in that way. But she was step, doing her step backs, and her shots were falling, and then she's, she's lights out at the foul line every yeah. night too. Um, so, you know, she's one that she wants the ball in her hands, and when she's got a rhythm going, you, yeah. you want to make sure she keeps, you know, continues to get the ball in her hands. Yeah. But So, Caitlin, when did, you, when did you feel that, you know, like, okay, my shot's falling tonight. I'm going to just keep going. And you had a couple of good step backs again. I love yeah. that shot. So when, when did you feel that in this game? I feel like after you take, like, one or two shots, you just get in a rhythm and, you like, just do the same Thing every time. Yep. Yeah. Well, and it was good too. Not just the points though, because you were you were distributing as well. Yeah. I, I noticed that a lot tonight. You mm -hmm. you know you were looking for the open man when your shot wasn't there. You were dribbling and getting it over. And Lisa, you know, looking at the team, uh, just about everybody scored tonight. Yeah. Uh, you got a you got a lot of great experience for the girls tonight, which was which was good. Mm -hmm. I, I think that you could see a little sloppy play with some of the girls. Yep. I think early on, I think it was probably some butterflies. Yeah. Um, you know, but again. Do you think that that's something that you think is going to help you along the way? Absolutely. And, I, you know, going into the season, I knew we had to have contribu contributions from not just Malika every night, but we needed to have four or five and even six girls contributing um, on the offensive end because they're going to always do well defensively. But, um, you know, if, if teams are able to shut her down, which is going to be tough, um, yeah. but if they are, we need, you know, all those other girls to step up and give, you know, seven, eight, nine points per game. If we can distribute those points, we're going to be a tip, you know pretty tough matchup. Yeah, and I, I got to say the two captains, Chelsea Gibbons and, and uh, you know Abby Hasman, they really stepped up tonight they as well did. on the boards. Uh, they had a great offensive game. Chelsea, you know, with a couple left-handed shots, yep. and she was like a bulldog down there tonight. Yeah, she plays much taller than she actually is, and yeah, she's so tough. And you know, she's she's earned her time on this court. Yep. You know, she's she's learned from you know playing against girls as we know that were really really talented, and now they were playing at the collegiate level and. And she's pretty much, you know, now she's the girl that the younger girls are looking up to and seeing what she does and how she uses her body. And, and she, she's very unselfish. As yep. we saw at the end there, she could have had, you know, layup and she distributed it over to Julia. So she does some great things out there. And, uh, you know, one other question here. I know that Kent was really active with her hands, mm -hmm. very active, getting in, stealing the ball. You know, is that something that maybe you might, might work on uh, <laughs> during the practice? Yes. Uh, you know, I noticed a couple of times, you know, Lizzie, you know, she gave away a couple and it's some of the other Adrian done as well a couple mm -hmm. of girls but you know I think after that first quarter I think the girls settled down a little bit and yeah. they kind of understood that Canton was kind of reaching in mm -hmm. and then you could see as the game progressed and maybe late in the game it was it was a little too much but I think they handled the ball a little bit better mm -hmm. as you went into the game yeah and I, yeah they definitely got a little bit sloppy and you know Canton was very aggressive and no. Um, so, you know, when it's tough when you have, you know, four hands in your face and two bodies to find that open player. So it's not necessarily the person with the ball that's got to do a little bit more. It's the people that are going to be open that need to show yep. themselves, and we'll work on it. And now you got you got Tuesday night, you got Taunton. What are you expecting from Taunton on Tuesday? They're another improved team. So they're, they're not the Taunton of old. Um, they, they have some great outside shooters. They're very physical underneath the board. So we need more nights from uh, Chelsea and Abby and Yara um, underneath, which is going to open up things for our guards. Yeah. Well, Caitlin, congratulations. Thanks. I think this is, you know, your career high, 31. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that's just, it's only the second game. So, you know, we're going to expect maybe 32, 33 <laughs> the next couple of nights, you know. Uh, no, but seriously, I think you guys, did, it was a great game again tonight. I know Kent was a, was a tough opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, and, again, it's just not going to get easier because the, the target's always going to be on your back. Mm -hmm. Caitlin, you know that yeah. better than anybody right now, that they're going to be they're gonna be looking at you. So I think you guys continue to, to do well. Um, you know, I think that that's going to be a tough game against Taunton again on Tuesday. And then who are you guys playing on Friday? Is it no one? So we don't play again okay. after that until uh, December 29th against Hopkinton. Okay. Oh, and we know yeah. we know Hopkinton, <laughs> so that'll be a battle. Yeah. Uh, well, congratulations again on the victory, Caitlin. Great Thank job you. tonight with the 31 points. Again, here uh, final score 86-61. Foxborough Warriors now 2-0. Uh, we're getting ready to go against Taunton, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be going. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Have a good night, everyone.